Hey, this is just a short video showing you how to shorten straps on my harnesses. To start off with, you're going to have to remove the strap that's too long from the o-ring that it's attached to. I find the easiest and safest way to do this is with a Stanley blade and to cut it directly over the o-ring, being careful of your fingers. Um, and then if it's not cut all the way through, then you can use the leverage of the o-ring to twist it and get it off. You can also cut the strap off with a pair of scissors, um, but you need to make sure that they're sharp um, as it will be quite difficult. You'll then want to cut what remains of the riveted section off the strap before resizing. Uh, this next section might be a little difficult to do by yourself, but not impossible. You just want to put the harness on and make sure that the o-ring is sitting where it should be on your back. Then have the strap and pull it over and then loop it so it's feeling kind of tight and comfortable. Uh, you're then going to want to put a clip on the strap just to hold it in place while you take the harness off and bring it to the table. Once you've got the strap on a surface that you don't mind damaging, then you're going to want to take the punch and punch the hole through next to the fold, not too close to the o-ring. Uh, you should be able to punch through both sides of the strap at the same time and this should make it easier to keep everything lined up. Uh, you're then going to want to cut off the excess that you have on the strap as well. Uh, you're now going to want to take one of your double cap rivets, uh, place it through the hole, um, then you want to flip it over and clip the cap on top. If you're using a double cap rivet set, then you're going to put the anvil underneath and nestle the rivet into it, and then use the setting tool on top, yours will have a longer the handle than mine, and then just hit it a couple times with a hammer to set the rivet in place. If you already have a punch to make holes with, or you can use a drill as well, then you don't need to buy the rivet setting kit in order to set the rivets. You can just place them against a hard surface and hit them with a hammer. Now you'll be left with a slightly flatter set rivet and it might have a crease in it, but it'll still be perfectly structurally sound. So uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any more questions, then feel free to drop me a message on Etsy and I will do my best to help.